messed up third gear at it. I didn't shot by that. Then we could see what third gear is like down there. Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah so let's load on the trailer. Yeah, so well, how y'all doing? How you doing? Everything good? Everything good? Okay, just checking. As long as you're good, I'm good. That's probably where your packages are at. It's probably late. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You didn't need that shit. Chase getting his Instagram post so y'all can see it before it happens, okay? You saw it here first. But anyway, not our Tahoe, friend's Tahoe, transmission. The 60s doing 60s shit, so let's get it back. Boys and girls, it is Saturday morning. You can see that Tahoe made it back safely. Uh, I guess you're gonna get transmission for it. I don't need it. It, it, no, it no good. 60s doing 60s things, so we'll get that taken care of another day. Who knows? Anyway, let's talk about this car right here. No, not that car, this car. That car is going to wait for another video because I don't want to talk about it. I don't like it, but I don't want to talk about Here it. Here we go. The injectors are actually on their way back from Texas to me now, cleaned up, ready to go. So we just got to put four plugs on this side because we already did new plugs on this side, so we're on the way to do new plugs on this side. But we already know it was not the plugs, was not the coil, was not anything. The motor was not hurt. It was just three injectors. We had two on this side, and apparently we have one on this side that was just leaking constantly. So, and we have one on here that just wouldn't do its job at all, and another one leaking pretty bad. So. That will explain why we had some burning over here and these had some temp in them, but not enough to be right. So I uh, guess we may have dodged a bullet there. If not, we got a bullet there to put in it. So anywho, what we're gonna do today, we have the engine plate here. We're going to push this thing out, drain the radiator out of it, pull the radiator out of it, take the water pump off of it. May have to take this accessory here off and start figuring out how to get this uh, plate in here so we can get this engine mounted down because I want the engine mounted down very, very firmly. It, there's a slight bit of movement now on the mount, it's not much, but I'm gonna take care of all that with this. So let's, right, let's get this party started. I have that other mess over here. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I think we'll make it happen, hopefully. And we'll be plugged and after we get the uh, water drained out and everything. Oh, let's see here now. I got a mess. I do have a mess. I cannot lose this stuff. I can't lose these. These are very important with my injector spaces. I need that I'm in the water. Four here and a four in the rail over on the other side. I think we're good. And come over here and pick that up. Oh my goodness gracious. And see so if we can find an eight millimeter right here somewhere. Here we go. Should do it. Now I can bring this to the trailer already. Good day to be there. Need a spot so it's drizzling right now. Supposed to uh, slack up. It's really nice today. I really wish I was racing the car today. But that's not meant to be. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna take care of this stuff here and I'll bring y'all back when I get drained up, pushed back in. This is not exciting, it's not worth watching or anything at all. So you can come back shortly, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right, we have the front cover off and if you're an OG, you'll remember that writing on there. So uh, yeah, now I gotta figure some stuff out. So it'll be a long pause here before I bring it back, but I will bring you back, but I gotta do some figuring out of my own. Okay. Putting the bracket back on, plate mounted to the car. Water pump's on. All I gotta do is the, uh, clear the bars up, boom ups, and do my holes there. Knock that bar off there. Put a new up bracket on, fill the holes. And the engine will be supported by that now. But let me finish bolting this on, get my, uh, haul my hoses and everything back on, which are to interfere in no way, no shake, no how, or anything. And then I'll do the bars to them firmly bolted down. But we're getting there. And check the deals you're working on this hunk of uh, stuff. Didn't tell anybody earlier, this is a Pro Charge 2 valve, 2002, 2003 Mustang. He is in the challenge of trying to find the world's slowest car. Well on the way, well on our cars, lost somebody, he was finishing it up for him. So you can see there, he's going to put the pump cover back on now and see if it fits. Here cool, bait and pro charger, on a few valve, the cam, the spring, lots of disappointment. Lots of gain, if you like men, we got the car for you. What's up? 
the bedroom then. Yeah. Now it's there. We gotta get Bob coming out some of the way. Then we'll pick this up and we'll pull that down. And we're gonna put that down. And then we're gonna run the kids this way. I'm just gonna leave here. See the belt here. Nobody cares. Put a plate on this side is bolted down. I gotta use the bracket here. I gotta cut the old bracket off, put a new bracket on. Getting there, boys and girls, getting there with all the accessories on the belt, back on everything. I'm bleeding. It's great. It's been a good time. I'm so excited. Look at this. I am bleeding everywhere. That's awesome. Anywho, carry on. The plate is on, as you can see. Four bolts in it. It is there. It is sturdy. Now I can feel free to pull the uh, stock, well, I don't say stock, stock location motor mount out of it. I'm going to leave it for right now. The big reason why I did this was these stock mounts that we have in here now, I used to work aero stock mounts. These are homemade mounts back from way back when, when we got this car a long time ago. Uh, not from the first guy that built it, from the second guy that built it. Long story. Long story. Any hoosle, so when I take and swap the motors out, I don't have to worry about trying to get those mounts lined up exactly where they go. I have positive location. Now come on through, kind sir. Come through. Please, please interrupt my video. Uh, <laughs> please interrupt my video. <laughs> anyway, like I said, so they're a pain in the butt to get in and out and a bigger nightmare to line up. So now I have positive location where the motor goes. So it's easier for me to do this now. I don't really have to have them. So probably when I swap the motors, I'll probably just ditch them all together. For right now, it's a fat and lazy. I'll probably leave them in there. But be nice to go ahead and get them out of there but we have the thing mounted up all we're all waiting on injectors uh they said they would be here well they shipped out thursday so i would say tuesday wednesday at the latest hopefully by monday though so that'd be swell and we just call it back together and run it again cannot say enough to appreciate snake eater uh, performance for taking care of my two-year-old injectors and fixing them for me that's awesome can't even complain for free too cannot complain about that at all so they've done nothing but solid things and been cool as hell to me don't you say a word because I'll slap you. <laughs> no, I know I'm fucking with you. But anyway, so there we are. I wouldn't do goddamn one. Yeah, I know exactly. So we're new haircut. You haven't seen that in a while. But he's seen me a while. I know. He ain't seen me in a while, actually. Anyway, like I said, Chase got this all back together today. It's kind of sort of mostly, so now he knows where everything goes. Maybe he's connected to us, not our car, somebody else's assault background. One of the tells you can quit asking questions. We'll catch you later. Yeah, new to me, Tahoe. We used this last time we went to Shady Side. This thing pulled like a dream. Little 5 3 truck, 6 L80. This was so nice towing with it. It was awesome. Plenty of power. Doing 75, 80 mile an hour with trailing back. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but it does it. Comfortable. Oh, it was, it was beyond nice. I was having a good time. Not perfect. The inside of it is really nice. It does do really It's got this dash cover because every single GMT 900 identifies as uh, Dodge. Just that same thing right here dash cracks right here this is like every single one we ever get it's awesome but all right this is all i'll show you my tahoe i kind of like it it's my little thing i love it uh like i said hopefully call me back together uh first of next week and then i think i have carolina cash days the first weekend in august so i'm really hoping my injector is back so we can be ready to go and if we do we do get it back means i can put my headlight in the hood's ready to go back on and we are ready to run streetcar glasses I don't know, maybe we'll just index and be done with it. Who knows? I'll let y'all know. I'll do my best to upload. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But we'll catch y'all later. Bye.